So welcome back. This is going to be a much shorter video today as uh, the market, technically, for most of the market, it wasn't open today. So we're just going to focus on the US dollar index. We're going to focus on oil. We're going to focus on copper, gold. Uh, and then we're going to look at the cocoa and, uh, and weed as well, as those are two very interesting uh, commodities to, uh, to look at as well. But we'll look at US dollar first. So we rallied uh, a little bit um, in the trading session today. However, we didn't get that far. We you know, closed actually at the same place where we are at the bottom of yesterday's candlestick. And uh, at this point, it is it's very difficult to say where we are actually going. These technical indicators are still very bearish. There's not a lot of room to the downside here. We could actually go for, uh, go lower. Of course, that would have a, a, a massive effect on on gold and also on on oil, a positive effect. If we break the the very lows here of ninety one point seventy seventy five, that would be a very very bearish sign for U.S. dollar, and we most likely go significantly lower. If we turn around from here, then of course that is a that's a negative sign for gold, and that's a negative sign for other commodities like oil, for example. We should expect those to fall. So, uh, for our gold trade, that is probably not good. For our for our oil trade, that would be would be quite good, quite a lot of good news. But if you look at this, um, if we rally up towards the fifty, we'll find certainly resistance here at ninety ninety two point four six, and then we have the fifty moving average as well at ninety three point seventeen. A break above that opens the door to ninety three point eighty. Two and then to 93.94.31. So just keep an eye out for the US dollar index. If you look at the four hour chart, we can see that we tried to rally up towards the 50 and then broke down quite significantly. So this is a very, very, very shine for the for the US dollar. We most certainly, according to the fair four hour chart, will go towards uh, 91.7. So if we go all the way down there, you can see that this is the area that we need to break in order to go significantly lower. And that is a very bad sign when you can't even get close to the 50 minute week average. That is a bearish sign, definitely. So look at oil. We can see that, we'll start with a daily chart. We can see that we broke down today. Um, I added a, a sell position here around... Uh, uh, well, thirty-five dollars, and at this point, I do expect this to go lower. How low? I that is unclear. I set it to to uh, to um, roughly uh, roughly this area here is when I expect uh, buyers to come back in. However, if this area breaks, which were the previous highs back in August September. If that breaks, then we're certainly going back towards the 50 minute week average. Uh, I think that most people have their eyes on the 50. So we may see a small pullback. And I will also make a signal here when I leave the market. Uh, but if I see that we are strengthening and we're continuing bullish here, I will get out of this market as fast as possible. And I would uh, encourage everybody else to do so. Uh, because I think that the target here of big investors is basically get to 50 and then turn around. Uh, but at this point, it looks bullish. These indicators are also looking fairly bullish. If you look at the four hour chart, that is also looking fairly bull bullish. We'll run into uh, support here. And uh, according to the four hour chart, that is the previous highs all the way back in uh, the 11th. And uh, would that would also coincide with the 50 moving average. So if we could get all the way down towards this area, then I will most likely uh, close my position on, on, on oil. And as you can see, technical indicators for the four hour chart are very, very bearish. And we have a lot of room to the downside in the RSI. So this could move this way, but it could also go very aggressively to the to, to the upside if we get rejected here. So I will most likely close my my short or my my sell position 
when we get close to this area here. So just keep that in mind. And uh, we'll look at copper. So this is, you can almost say this is the new Bitcoin. Uh, it is rallying and rallying, rallying in uh, to basically nowhere. It is at this point significantly overbought. We are at 75 and, um, and we just need some kind of bad news and then we'll have a massive drop towards 3.3. That, uh, that is at this point uh, almost inevitable. Um, the question is how far we go. If we look at a uh, daily chart, for example, here we can see the highs here. This is most likely going to be our target or where we'll find this will have a lot of support. But last time we broke down was well, similar to this and similar to this and also here. We have tested or crossed the 50 moving average every single time. These technical indicators are still fairly bullish, but it, this is a market that can move really fast, like drop three, four, five percent in, in a day, similar to this, this, you can see it all the way here. When it basically gets overstretched and so on, it can basically just snap to the downside. Similar to, to uh, uh, other instruments like Bitcoin, when you basically get significantly overbought. We are overbought at this point. Uh, I've tested this market several times because I thought we we're going to drop here. I thought we we're going to drop here. And now we're rallying again. So it will drop similar to this um, one point or another. If you look at the other charts here, we can see that even here in the, in the one hour chart, it's also extremely bullish at this point. But yes, we just have to see when it starts to fall apart. It will fall apart sooner or later. So if you look at gold, so we'll start by looking at the one hour chart. As you can see, we are trading above 1800 and we're trading above the 50 moving average. These technical indicators are looking very encouraging at this point, especially the CCI and also the stochastic. If we can manage to break above these previous uh, candlesticks here, the previous highs here, then we'll go towards 1836, then towards 1873, and then the 50 moving average. And I think that we are running quite a lot of resistance when we get to the 50 moving average. However, if you see that the uh, US dollar index starts to appreciate and this drops below um, the 200 moving average, I will get out of this market really fast because that will mean that we'll go towards 1,750 and probably all the way down to 1,700. And 1,700 was um, area here, which we were in for quite a long time before we basically went to the upside, the real upside here. So we could fall all the way down to 1700. That is a possibility that we do that. But at this point, there is nothing to be afraid of. Uh, we are way above the, the 20, um, 200 moving average and also above the 1800 level. So as long as these technical indicators turn around, if you look at the four hour chart, they are even more bullish than they are in the daily, daily chart. So we could have a run up towards this area is around 1850 at the 50 moving average here before we get a major a major resistance so let's look at kakoa which is looking really promising um if you look at the daily chart it's looking very promising we have this really nasty bearish candlestick here and that was a signal that we are going to go lower We'll probably pull back a little bit up towards uh, 2.724 uh, or a little bit higher than that before we continue downwards. Um, this will be choppy all the way down towards the 50 moving average. I don't really see this, um, see how this can rally continue to the upside. This was just an absolutely parabolical move. And if you look at the Fibonacci retracement, we can see quite clearly where we'll find major support it will be here 2.598 uh, and then 2.525 that is probably as far as this market will go so that is one of the best trades that you can do at this point also if you haven't entered 
wait until it pulls back towards this area here, and then you can sell it again. So wheat, wheat started to rally on on uh, on Tuesday, and then on Wednesday it basically collapsed towards the 50 moving average. But we are we didn't hit the 50 moving average. We're trading at the 50 moving average. So at this point, I think that if we don't break that, then we'll go for another run towards these highs. So at 615, that is going to be the target here. It was also previous highs here. And then all the way towards 637. So that is going to be my uh, my my target with a, with a stop loss right underneath here. So those are the uh, trades that I'm looking at at this point. So hope you find this helpful. Um, um, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.